Good morning, everyone. It's our last full day in New York. We are leaving tomorrow afternoon. Today, it's not great weather outside, so I don't think we're going to be able to find any pickup games. But there is one court that I want to go to that has incredible views of Manhattan. So we're going to head down this afternoon after we do a little bit of shopping this morning. Sound good, Tom? Yes. Very good. Can't forget this. The stuff you don't see in the vlogs. So that is shopping done for the day. Shopping actually was done. There was a sneaker purchase. Not by myself. I got something. So yeah, the court we're going to today, I think it's called Pier 2. I think it's kind of a newer uh, developed court, but it's right on the river, right in, kind of at the edge of Brooklyn uh, and Manhattan. And there's some pretty incredible views from the court. One would say they outdo views from the six. You get a quick perspective of, that's what we're gonna be seeing. Well, I think it's safe to say you don't get views like this in Winnipeg. Myself and Tom were kind of discussing this, is how crazy, like the architecture, like how the process of building something like the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge would have been. You look at the span between the two like pillars, this is like built over a hundred years ago. This looks like some like reclaim type bougie stuff. Bougie, 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 bougie. It would appear we have arrived at Pier 2. I like slam dunks, they take me to the pier. My favorite play is the alley. -oop. I like the pick and roll. I love the give and go. Now it's basketball. It went to Mr. Curtis blow. <laughs> this is like I don't even this is like a dream setup here. So you got two full courts underneath terraces, all weather play. And then you got these outdoor one uh, the ones underneath the terrace with the views. Those views. I know the, the draw of a place like New York for a lot of people is things like shopping, go see those like the tourist destinations, Times Square, Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty. This, I myself, I've never heard of Pier 2 before to, uh, this weekend. We kind of stumbled across it by accident on, what was that, Thursday night? Friday night. Whichever night, we were, uh, we were looking for a game came here because it said it had lights, the lights weren't on, but we, we saw this view and I was like, okay, I want to come back here. It's pretty crazy. One of the things I love about sport, and for me that sport's basketball, is I feel pretty confident that I could travel most anywhere that basketball is played, and I'll make a connection with whoever I'm playing with, whether it's locals or tourists alike. 
That's not saying by any means that I'm a fantastic basketball player. Um, I'm all right, I get the job done. But being confident at a skill that's something like basketball, it allows you to connect with people when you wouldn't have had that opportunity if you didn't. Sick penalty, Tom. I know, right? Thanks, man. Yeah. So that wraps it up from Pier 2. One of the most scenic basketball courts I have ever Probably seen. in the world. Probably top 10 in the world. I'd, I'd, say, say. It's pro I'd say it's probably top 10 in the world. That'd be so, like, so cool eventually to be able to go to find like, a list of the most scenic basketball courts out there and kind of check them off the bucket list as well as the historic ones. I'm sure there's like one in Rome that's like right behind the Parthenon or something like that. That, that would be Greece. You know what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> I was thinking Colosseum in my head, except then I was like, there's clearly not one by the Colosseum, and then I just threw out a word. That sounded old? Yeah. But like I said, that wraps it up from here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Until next video. What if they don't enjoy the content though? What do they do then? You can hit the dislike button and Ooh. tell me what I can do next time. That would be better. Anyways, until next time, peace.